Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll see how to mount your NTFS drives with full read and write support in Raspberry Pi or any other Linux distributions. Okay, so before going ahead, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel for more such videos. Okay, so most of the Linux distributions are shipped with read support for NTFS or no read support at all. I don't know about Raspberry Pi, so let's find it out. To list out all the device connected to your Raspberry Pi, you need to type in following command. It's f disk hyphen l. Uh, this will return results of the device connected to your Raspberry Pi. First results will be your memory partition, your memory card, and last result will probably be your hard disk or USB drive formatted into whatever format. Uh, since uh, you are watching this video, uh, your drive will probably be formatted into NTFS. Mine is 931.5 uh, gigabytes WD drive, which is formatted into NTFS. You can see right here. Uh, by the way, NTFS format is developed by Microsoft for Windows Vista or better Windows versions. Okay, so under device, uh, you can see something called dev slash sta1. This is your point, your mounting point or your device location. Okay, so note it down. Now make a directory where you want to mount this particular drive it's a good idea to mount in your home directory not your boot directory or root directory so your home directory will something be like slash home slash pi slash uh, whatever mount point you want to use I, I will be using media okay and list it out here you can see media folder that's good okay so to mount the drive on Linux distributions you type in following command sudo mount your device location mine is sda1 as you can see and your mount point which is slash home slash pi slash media there we go and we encountered one error which is unknown file system type NTFS and that's perfectly fine now we will install NTFS drivers for Raspberry Pi so it's good idea to update your system first before installing any package so type in sudo apt-get update and it will update your system mine is fully up to date and then type in following command sudo apt-get upgrade and type hyphen y to accept whatever they tell us to accept okay and my, my system is fully upgraded so there is no need to update now okay so now we will install the NTFS driver so type in following command sudo apt-get install ntfs 3g so ntfs 3g is open source driver for uh, getting read and write support in linux and any unix like operating system it's developed by tuxera i guess and it's written in c doesn't matter we need to install it's free and open source except let it install okay so now that's our NTFS 3G drivers are installed let's just quickly reboot our system by sudo reboot okay so our system is now back up let me quickly list out the disk connected to my raspberry pi by sudo fdisk-l 
and there we have my 1TB hard drive with NTFS format okay so now we'll try to mount our hard drive into endpoint okay so uh, it's a good idea to mount hard drives on your pi users home directory because then you won't need any root permissions to access your NTFS drive okay so we'll stick to our home directory so create directory called media and that's where I'm going to mount my hard drive and list out as, uh, so as you can see media folder is under the uh, home folder for pi user that's perfect and as you can see the device is a dev slash sda1 okay so type in the following command to mount ntfs drive sudo mount hyphen t and tfs 3g then your device name which is dev sda1 in your case it might be different in my case it's dev slash hda sda1 and your mount point so my mount point is slash home slash pi slash media or alternatively you can write tdl slash media okay tdl slash and media but you don't have to write that just stick to this particular so you don't make any mistakes and press enter this can take a couple of seconds and let me list again uh, so as you can see the color of this particular folder has been changed so you can see it's having read and write support let me change directory to media list it out and as you can see everything is listed out here so how do you know if it has read and write support I am making one test text file and if this command works you you can assume that you have write support and hello list it out again and as you can see the test file is been, has been added to my hard drive so that we mounted our NTFS drive into Raspberry Pi and this can uh, this is applied to almost every uh, Linux and Unix like distributions out there so uh, let me quickly show you how you can unmount this particular drive unmounting is even easier sudo u mount keep in mind it's not unmount it's u mount and your mount point so mine is tidal slash media or home slash pi slash media it's all the same thing enter and there you go the background has been changed and now you can safely eject your drive so that is for it guys please make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video if you like this video and share it with your friends thank you for watching this video